to you by Rick Abeni Associates Family Dentistry. The Wake Forest and Heritage JV teams are just moments away from kickoff, but what makes this game special is that it will be the final game played at historic Trentini Stadium in a while. The field so many young kids dreamed of playing on is about to undergo big changes. Todd Gibson has the story. There's no place like Trentini on a Friday night. It just kind of gives you, kind of gives you chills. The Triangle's most iconic high school football stadium, though, is showing its age. Trentini Stadium is about to get a facelift. Renovations will begin in the next few days as Trentini undergoes a multi-million dollar makeover, a fix that has some purists a bit uneasy. Just maintaining the, the aura of the, the, the historical part of the stadium, um, you know, being here since, since 1940 and to make sure we didn't compromise that as well. Joyner is confident the planned renovations will not deter from what makes Trentini special. Reggie Lucas knows all about the history of the former home to Wake Forest College football. He played here and for more than two decades has coached at Wake Forest High School. A lot of people who have played here can say Trentini is definitely one of the unique places to play a high school football game. And I think once the renovations are done, I think everybody's going to appreciate what, what the county is doing for Trentini. And I think it's going to reserve that special moment here in, in Wake Forest. That's why it's so important to get it right. Lucas and his Cougars will be displaced for a year as construction is expected to stretch into early spring of 2022. A new track will circle the playing field, taking away a few seats on the home side, but for the most part, the site seen here for years will remain mostly unchanged. Once it's said and done, the feel of Trentini is going to be the same, but it's going to have a new look. And that will most certainly bring a sigh of relief to so many who have helped make Trentini such a special venue. In White Forest, Todd Gibson, CBS 17.